forward, go forward. You are very at us. The Nigerian soldiers fighting Boko Haram that meant non-payment of allowances accused army hierarchy of corruption. The motivation of fighting in security matters a lot. For Nigerian army or police or any agent of the security forces to defeat the insurgents, I mean those people who are fighting genuinely, if they want to defeat all this Boko Haram, it's not all about ammunition or you know bringing personnel to fight. It has to do with motivation also, because if these people are not motivated, it's going to be a serious thing. So I'm surprised that all this thing has been going on. This is not the first time of reporting this thing that armies, the soldiers are not being paid. Sometimes the allowances, sometimes the main salary. I miss the poor salary that they are earning, like 50,000, 60,000 in this hard economy. We are going to look into that very soon. But there is something interesting that I want Nigerians to look into. You see, if we are talking about the incompetence of the government, especially the federal government, APC in the federal government, people will think that because we hate the government. Now, this is another breaking news that Abuja Electricity Company, AEDC, to disconnect Nigerian police, army headquarters, others by Monday over debts. In other words, the army, the police, they are owning the electricity bill. The other day, it was the Asura Vinda. They wanted to disconnect the Asura Vida. This is a national embarrassment. And for you to know that the Nigerian government, they don't care anything that is not part of their family. The only thing they know is all about their family. They don't care about Nigerians. They don't care about police. They don't care about soldiers. For a barrack housing military policemen and their families to receive a notice that they will disconnect their light, I think it is very very shameful thing now before we go into the non-payment of uh, allowances the corruption in the army let us look into these articles what it says about the non-payment of electricity bill and know what is going on this is from shara reporters and it reads the abuja electricity distribution company a edc has announced that it will start to disconnect customers with outstanding bills from its power network by Monday, June 3, 2024. Reminding you that by this June 3, that is where nationwide strike is still going to start. So a lot of things is going to happen in this month of June. I just pray that everything will go well in this month of June. Now, it says, the AEDC management disclosed this in a release title, Notice of Power Disconnection for Customers with Outstanding Bills and obtained by Shara Reporters on Saturday, that is today. This, this thing, all the affected customers, which includes Nigerian Army Headquarters, Nigerian Air Force Headquarters, Defense Headquarters, the Nigerian Police Force, the power distribution firm said this is to inform the general public that the AEDC will disconnect all customers with outstanding electricity bill on June 3, 2024. This is a very shameful thing. You know, sometimes the kind of news that comes out from Nigeria, you even be imagining, are we in a banana republic? A whole senator, just one senator can pay these bills, but to tell you the priority of the Nigerian government, what they stand for, what they want to do, is just for them to embezzle money in the name of projects. If you see them doing projects, know that the money they are using to do the project has been divided into two. Because if not, I, would, I will not see the reason why a bill of military, defense force, all those things has not been paid. So, we, we try to understand what will happen on Monday if these people will disconnect it. And this is weekend. If they didn't pay today and tomorrow, they are going to disconnect it. Their families will be there in darkness. The military, the personnel, everything, all their intelligence, their system will be shut down. This is a national disgrace. We are not supposed to be hearing this from like Sudan, Somali. We are not even supposed to hear this news from them. But the so-called giant of Africa is the one we are hearing this news for. It's very, very unfortunate. Now, let us go back to the news of um, Nigerian soldiers lamenting about non-payment of their allowances and so on and so forth. Now, let me read the articles for you again from Shara Reporters. And it reads, Some soldiers inducted into the war against Boko Haram terrorists in Nigeria Northeast have lamented about the non-payment of their de-induction allowance, allowances. Shara reporters learned that the soldiers were mobilized from various army formations to fight the terrorists under an operation codenamed Handy Kai, comprising the armed forces, the police, and the paramilitary operatives. 
it was further gathered that each personnel inducted into the operation serves a period of two years and is the inducted with a partial allowance of one million naira. However, some troops of the Nigerian army who spoke to Sahara reporters on condition of anonymity, in other words, the person said, please don't call my name, have alleged that they had not been paid their the induction allowances like other counterparts. They informed that unlike them, their colleagues in the Navy, Air Force and the Nigeria Customs have informed to have received one million each as the induction payoff. So what is happening? In Nigeria Army, what is going on with Nigeria Army? A lot of people have been complaining about the Nigeria Army that uh, sometimes they don't buy good weapons. They do the corruption in the army. I don't really know because the news we are seeing it shows there is something wrong. Now let's read the next article, and it reads: The soldiers send out a, a, the induction form, which each one of them was asked to fill with bank details at the end of a two-year operation in the battlefield. They wondered why they were not paid like others' counterparts and urging that fraud was being committed by the Nigerian Army High Command. Now, Nigerian Army, I don't know. Whoever that is in charge with the operation of Nigerian Army, I think there is a need to change. When I mean a need to change, Nigerian Army, the way they are involving themselves in corrupt practices, alleged corrupt practices, let me put it in that way, and also with the civil cases, also with you know, arresting people, the work of police, doing so many things that are opposite of the work of army. It's so alarming, you know. The Nigerian army will invade community, carry, put the law in their hands, do the investigation, do the arrest, do the prosecution. Where is our democracy? Oh, sorry. I forgot we don't even have democracy before. Yes, we don't have democracy. Now, the next article is, the next paragraph, it says, but there is a form that the soldier will fill before leaving, and it is expected that the army will pay some money into the account of every soldier that is the inducted. But soldiers fill the forms, the hierarchy will put the money in their pockets and make this that they pay the soldiers. This is corruption of the highest order. So how would you want this uh, insurgency war to end? Let me stop reading the articles. I don't think it's even necessary. How do you want this uh, insurgency war to end? How? How is it going to end? It is impossible with all this kind of corruption going on in the army that after people who fought Boko Haram, according to the Nigerian government, they are supposed to be paid off, you know, give them what they deserve. But the only thing the soldiers are doing is to make sure they chuck in the money to their pocket, not paying these people. And you expect these people, when you call them, that oh, there is Boko Haram here, you people should come for war, they will not come. So many attacks I reported that took place past week, past two weeks, there is a report, or there was a report, that a distress call was put on the Nigerian military. You know what happened? They refused to answer. So I believe that these people who are not motivated, that it could be the problem why they are not answering emergency calls. You know why I'm making this video? The purpose of this video is that if all this corruption are going on, it will affect the security challenges we're having in the country. Those who are responsible to fight all these battles, they won't fight it. They will run from it. They will say no, because if anything happens to me, the military will not pay allowance. Motivation is very important. Motivation is very necessary when it comes to anything that has to do with, uh, you know, military. They must have the morale to fight. They must have the morale to face the battle. The motivation will affect their performance, their attitude and everything. So, please, the leadership of the Nigerian army, if this thing they are alleging, they are reporting, if it is in your hand, Please kindly pay these guys. They are doing a lot of jobs. It's not easy now. It's not easy. They are doing a lot of jobs. So seeing them lamenting like this is not good. Let's go, man, 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 let's go! Let's go, let's go! They are coming back, let's go. Come, 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 come